Hey, good people, welcome back. This is Arthur Morris. I hope that all is going well with you today. In this video, we're going to look at binomial coefficients. And what this does, this allows us to evaluate binomials that have higher powers. So it gives us a method that was invented uh, a long time ago uh, to evaluate uh, binomial expressions and higher powers. So first thing we're going to look at is binomial coefficient and look at a method of evaluating the binomial coefficient. All right, so the binomial coefficient, as you see here, is read as n above r. And for all non-negative integers, n and r, where, where n is greater than or equal to r, the expression n above r is called the binomial coefficient. And we can evaluate the binomial coefficient by using this formula down here n factorial over uh, r factorial times n minus r factorial. All OK, so let's look at a couple of examples. All right, so let's evaluate uh, these binomial coefficients. The first one, let's write our formula down before we do that. So we have n above r equals n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So in this case, uh, to evaluate 8 above r, n, 8 is in the place of n, and 3 is in the place of r. So filling in our formula there, we have following. Eight factorial over three factorial times eight minus three factorial. So remember the factorial means, uh, the eight factorial means eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. I see here my denominator that when I subtract, I will have 5 factorial. So I'm going to rewrite that 8 factorial as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial. Over 3 factorial times 5 factorial. Now what that allows me to do is to cancel those 5 factorials. So now I have 8 times 7 times 6, 3 factorial is just 3 times 2 times 1. And 3 times 2 times 1 is 6, so I can cancel the 3 times 2 times 1 with the 6. I just have 8 times 7, which is 56. And that's how you evaluate the binomial coefficients. So let's look at a couple of more. So we have 7 uh, over 7, 7 above 7. So n is equal to 7 and r is equal to 7. We have 7 factorial over 7 factorial times 7 factor or 7 minus 7 factorial. Now, a little note here, 0 factorial is equal to 1. So here in my denominator where I have 7 minus 7 factorial, which is 0, that's just equal to the value of just 1. So I'm left with 7 factorial over 7 factorial, and anything divided by itself is 1. So that's a special case there. Anytime your n and your r are equal to each other, when you're simplifying or evaluating these binomial coefficients, your result will be 1. Okay, you may want to pause the video and uh, try the next couple of problems. Okay, let's take a look at them. So this one we have 5 factorial over 0 factorial times 5 minus 0 factorial. Now this is another special case. Again, just like I just 
stated, 0 factorial is equal to 1. So we end up with 5 factorial over 5 factorial. And that's what that little exclamation point is called, factorial. So that's another special case. Anytime n or anytime your r is 0 and n is um, greater than 0, then the result will be 1. All right, let's try one more. So 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 5 minus 2 factorial. So we have 5 factorial. And let's look at our denominator first. Uh, 5 minus 2 is 3 factorial. So let's break the 5 down. 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. That way, the three factorials will cancel each other out. So now that leaves me with 5 times 4 in my numerator, and then 2 times 1 in my denominator, and that's just 2, and 2 will go to 4 2 times. So 5 times 2 equals 10. Alrighty, good people. I hope you found that video to be helpful. I will see you on the next one. Thank you.